everybody, back here again for our vlog a day. And today is Thursday, the 27th, and today was an absolutely wonderful, beautiful day. Um, hot, not horrendous, it was just it was hot and sunny, gorgeous day. Got this morning, got a few things taken care of. It was a very poor night for me, lack of a better term. I was up three different times cleaning up um, dog poop and pee and diarrhea and just Oh, it's not good. Not a good day. Um, I have been watching a uh, much older dog. Uh, he's, I, like the last, I don't know, probably a year and a half, we've had the talk, maybe two years of the talk of what happens if he dies while he's here? How do I go about notifying them and all that? And that's a bad conversation I have to have. But um, this trip, I had him for a long time. I've had him, I think I had him for like 11, 12 days. I had him for a while. 12 days, I think it was. And it just, tonight was by far the worst night um, I'd had him with. He, normally is just kind of wanders on their house and he'll pee somewhere, he'll poop somewhere and stuff, no big deal. Then he goes back to sleep for the rest of the day. And to, last night he decided to bark and wake me up at like midnight, a little out from like 12 40, something like that was, like that 4 1. And we clean up a mess. And normally he just goes, he pees here, poops there, and goes back over here. And this time he decided he headed to tell me about it. So I got up. So I'm not real good about, I can wake up fairly quickly and move on with what I need to do in my life, but I'm not real fast about getting right back to sleep right away. So I finally get back to sleep. I'm like, okay, life goes on, no big deal. And then sure enough, what do I have? But yet again, I have 3 a.m. It's like 3.01, I looked at my, on my uh, phone. Uh, he's yipping again and hanging. thing. It actually woke me up the first little yip. I'm like, just go to sleep, man. Just leave me alone, go to sleep. And he's yipping at me stuff like, hey, look what I did. I pooped and I diarrhea and smeared it all over the place. And I was like, great. So I got up with that three, at 3.01, I got up, uh, got that cleaned up. And God, it was not, just not great. And I was like, okay, whatever, da, da, da. And then, no, I took it back at three o'clock. It was just pee, but it was like a lot of pee. Like he stole pee from somebody else. And I'm like, what the hell? So I got that cleaned up. I took him outside, basically right out the little stuff, right back in. I'm like, okay, what the hell, dude? Just lay down and go to sleep. Um, got up in the morning, actually, for the day. And that's when I walked in there and saw he'd done. He not only had diarrhea, and he decided to play in it also. And it was just, it was a mess. And it was that weird thing where he had dried in the time frame. So he must keep right back inside at three and shit all over the floor and played in it. And I was like, God damn, this is the worst. Like, this is absolutely the worst. I was just, I already didn't get sleep throughout the night. I was just, I was not in the mood was not feeling great about the whole thing and then Karen made some kind of remark about what to do like to help pin it up or some kind of stuff and I snapped at her not real bad I'm not a yelling asshole like I'm gonna hit you I'm not not that dude I'm not but I raised my voice I was fed up with it I was just like I go through this like it was it was not good my tone went deeper like I don't like more like I'm telling the dogs nope get off the couch kind of thing or on top of that I I'm not or but on top of that my voice went louder and I'm not a big fan of that I just you can't communicate by speaking at a normal level, normal manner, then you suck at communication. There's no reason to ever yell at people, you know, all kind of stuff. I just, especially somebody you love. This is somebody you cherish, somebody that you have given a vow to spend the rest of your life with and take care of. You're going to yell at them and, like, belittle, belittle them? It's just so stupid. And I felt bad. I even actually caught myself, like, almost instantaneously, and I apologized. I'm like, I'm so sorry. It's just a bad morning. I'm like, I don't have that many of those. I'm not that dude. It's like, oh, don't touch me down my coffee. I'm not I'm not that dude. I'm not that piece of crap. He's like, oh, don't you even look at me. I'm not not that dude. I'm just, I'm pretty laid back, pretty pretty simple when it comes to that kind of stuff most of my life. And this was just a bad day for me. And I I felt horrible. And I'll probably feel horrible about it for the next six to 12 months. Maybe even five years now, it'll pop up in my head. I'm like, remember that time I yelled at you about the dog shit on the floor? I was just like, because that's who I am. I overthink everything. I play things back in my head a thousand times an hour and absolutely beat myself up for shit I did. Like, I burnt some pizza here a few months ago and I set it at 450 instead of 400 and the pizza came out toasty. It was, we ate it, but it shouldn't have been eaten. We should have just, I should have just said hell that I should have punished myself and made myself walk to go get Chinese or some stupid shit. But I still am annoyed and pissed off that I left that pizza. I made such a dumb mistake by putting 450 in the oven instead of 400 and still annoys the shit out of me if that happened. So, um, got that taken care of and just, I, I was like, what the hell? And then just, I don't know, the dog's older, his smells are not great and stuff. So I said to hell with it. So today I decided I was going to, um, air sterilize my house. I just, I've had too much. He's been here too long. I'm ready for him to go home. And I took the bird out, took the dog out and Bruce out and myself and my laptop and my iPad and 
you know, cigar. And I was like, we're just going to sit outside for the next six hours. So went out there, turned on the um, air purifier, ran in the bed bathroom, turned on the fan so it blew around the whole house. Normally you put it right in for the cold air vent. It's an ozone producing ionizer that literally will kill bed bugs. Like this thing kills fleas, thing kills odors, kills everything. It actually absorbs, it's that same electrical static in the air after a lightning storm that smells so good that ozone releases but it kills everything absolutely so amazing absolutely love absolutely love 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 this stuff and it is what it is so but i went ahead and basically headed outside so i'm not outside all freaking day like i can't go back inside like i literally if you go inside you can die because there's no oxygen there so i'm like well i guess i'll just stay inside so i went ahead and chilled out uh, or stay outside i mean not inside i stay outside so i got uh, done once i got the filter done i went back inside kicked the doors and windows open for a little bit to make sure i got plenty of oxygen in the house they say within an hour it'll just dissipate and your oxygen comes back but i like to open up a couple windows and a couple doors opposite sides of the house and let it blow through just in case especially when i have a bird here because parrots are exceptionally all birds but you know parrots are one canaries are the most sensitive to lack of oxygen in nauseous gases and dangerous gases and stuff hence the canary in a mine so i went ahead got the house all aired out got that all taken care of i think it was good there uh, finally six hours later got actually about seven hours later so i got back inside the house um got a few things taken care of waiting for them to come pick the dog up um they basically were going to be here they got i think they ran some traffic or they ran into something something was going on so they got delayed and then they got back in town we're moving things around unorganizing things and stuff and whatnot and then from there went ahead and found out they had a um, dead battery in the truck they were coming to get me come and get the dog and stuff in and they had to um, i guess they jump started the jumper charger and stuff they drove it somewhere else and it died at the store or they shut it off the store wouldn't restart and it was a pain in the butt so got pushed back a few hours there um was not a big deal um as long as i know what's going on it's just i had other things i was trying to do so i was like well i haven't heard from you guys i need to get my run in i want to get my et done so there was kind of that weird time i would have had time to get back from the run but probably would not have had time to actually get back um and shower both so i so had to hell with it and basically uh, was able to go get my run done get my shower and everything before they got there because they ended up dying at the gas station it was pain but i offered to come help them so i wasn't sure where they're at and whatnot and it turns out um they were locally but they had somebody else that took care of them. i guess the jumper kills they had or something weren't good i don't know they had to like let it sit there for a long last time before they went through and they finally came got their dog and their bird and it's great she was tired her she has a bad back so her back was absolutely 100 killing her on the process from riding the you know the damn um rv for hours and hours and hours in that whole process of what was going on which is definitely not the best um thing for her but it is what it is they were they made it back to florida they were the panel somewhere i think whatever so they got that done uh went ahead i ended up making myself some lamb i ended up having i picked up some lamb the other day yesterday when it was at the store and i sous vide it oh, 115 degrees actually went to 116 i thought well 115 is you know absolutely um is what they consider medium rare and 120 or rare 120 is medium rare so i knocked it out to 116 and then i charred it with my new torch which not a hundred i bought it for um, sign making and doing actual work but i thought hey i can also use this to char my meats and see what happens and i'm a fan of lamb it's it's just gamey enough it's a little bit sweet absolutely absolutely 100 percent love lamb and unfortunately my wife had never had it she was eating it she got a little bit freaked out because i didn't tell her what it was i said i have a red you know protein and i didn't tell her like you know so i didn't know what she wanted for baked potatoes or vegetables or what she wanted and stuff and then she got a little bit freaked out because she wasn't sure what it was. she kept making some guesses and never got it never got it and i finally told her and i think by that point she was like eh, i don't think i like it because she hadn't said she didn't like it yet until i told her what it was so she's kind of bad about that she has other things in her mind that thinks well this is I think this will be bad, so it will be bad, regardless of whether it was or not. So, who the hell knows? But went ahead. Um, so now I don't get to eat lamb as much. I was really hoping she would like lamb because I'm a big fan of lamb. But I can always make her something else and make myself lamb. So, went ahead, um, chilled out there, watched a little bit of Netflix, uh, watched a couple of things, and then I decided to head outside to have a cigar in the evening. The weather is still like 86 degrees outside with humidity. It's a little bit on the warm side, but could be a whole lot worse. Um, went ahead enjoyed the night headed in watched a little bit of the tv show don't um which is on netflix i guess netflix hulu maybe hulu it's just a really dumb like family and friends like type show it's a little bit of like a uh, adult version of um the old game show with the kids with the slime i don't know what it's called but it's just it's dumb just turn your brain off and laugh kind of thing which is what we did so 
called that for a night. Oh, my DVD player is also dying. I got my DVD player. I turn it off, and the damn thing doesn't actually shut off, and it stays on. And then you can't turn it back on until you unplug it and plug it back in. So I'm just, I'm going to have to order a new one or stop by a Walmart somewhere and buy one. But probably do the research, set it online, and just say the hell of it. Although that leaves we don't have anything to watch this weekend. So, plus, or I guess worse, because I can call back there and just plug it in now every time. But that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.